If this election has done anything, it has provoked the question in me of why are people angry enough to vote for someone like Donald Trump? And the most common reaction that I have received from people is that it's because he has an aversion to political correctness. He is blunt, he doesn't put up with crap, and he's very straightforward that way. And I'm like, you know, okay, but isn't political correctness important to some degree because it reminds us to treat each other like human beings? The other day I saw a meme that said, it had like a picture of one of the protests, the anti-Trump protests in the city, a huge crowd of people, and it says, leave these whiny millennials to their trigger warnings and safe spaces and let's move forward as a country. And that irritated me because I feel like trigger warnings and safe spaces fall under the criteria of political correctness and they are absolutely necessary because, again, they are examples of how we acknowledge other people's experiences and accept them and demonstrate some sort of interest in caring about the well-being of other people. And I feel like, as a country, America generally tries to care about the well-being of other people, but I feel like in the direction that we're going in, we are diverting from that. Safe spaces are important because they help people realize that they are in, an air, in a place where they can be open and diverse and be accepted ultimately. Like, I can use the example of being a teacher. Um, as a teacher, we are encouraged to present to students that we are safe spaces. People can come to us and talk to us and we can acknowledge their diversity and accept them for who they are. And this, I mean, this isn't just at schools. A lot of places have designated safe spaces, or the entire school can be considered a designated sp safe space. Trigger warnings also fall under the qualification of what I call being politically correct, because it helps keep people aware and educate people about the important experiences that we face and how they affect one another and how they resonate through our lives. I can use the experience of being sexually assaulted. When I came out as being a survivor of sexual assault, I came out during a time when, say, if I had a class where we were talking about sexual assault, there was always a trigger warning at the beginning of the discussion, designating the fact that we would be discussing such things, which in turn helps me as the individual anticipate it or remove myself from the situation before the discussion even arises. And that is what trigger warnings are for. They're to help people, help warn people that, you know, hey, we're going to be discussing the subject. If you need to remove yourself from the situation to protect yourself, go for it. Or if you want to participate in the conversation and share your own personal experiences, you're more than welcome to do so. They serve the purpose by helping protect one another and helping each other respect everyone's experiences. Our experiences are valid, our trauma is valid, our healing is valid, and our survival is valid. And I think that's what political correctness examines. It helps us prove to other people that we do care about their well-being. And I don't think that's something that we should forsake as a country at all whatsoever. Anyway, if you guys like my videos, please take a moment and subscribe to my channel. And go check out my playlists. You guys have a great rest of your day. And feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below.